As the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit entered day three today, President William Ruto rooted for more U.S. investments in Kenya and the African continent. This is a very important forum. Speaking at the summit, President Ruto demanded that the U.S. consider to build their industries in Kenya to benefit from adequate labor by the available unemployed millions of youths and the availability of green energy. Africa comes with population, comes with enormous energy resources, comes with huge labor, and U.S. can come with capital, know-how, and machinery, and we can have a win win outcome. Ruto telling U.S. top leaders and investors to regard Africa as an investment destination and not just as a market for their manufactured goods. Instead of exporting commodities, the U.S. should find an opportunity in investing the capital they have, the machinery they have, the know-how they have so that they can produce for the African continent in Africa. The president also seeking for more support for the Hustler Fund from the U.S. investors. I can say confidently that we are expanding the universal access to broadband, embarking on the digitization of public services, supporting our robust startup system, and enhancing access to digital credit and improve monetization of digital public goods by our young entrepreneurs across Kenya. We all know that we miss the, the over-revolution. We cannot uh, miss, miss this fourth revolution because we have the competitive advantage of we have the, young, the youngest population of the world and we need to take advantage of that. Your ideas of growing Kenya's role as a carbon exporter on your country's own terms are well-founded. Conservation International commits to partnering with the government of Kenya and will continue investing financial resources and technical assistance. U.S. President Joe Biden promising to invest 350 billion U.S. dollars in Africa to spur growth of digital economy, adding that the U.S. will invest in cybersecurity to protect traders from fraudsters. Today, I'm announcing a new initiative, the Digital Transformation with Africa, working with Congress to invest $350 billion dollars to facilitate more than almost a half a billion dollars in financing to make sure people across Africa can participate in a digital economy. Among the high-profile figures accompanying the president in the U.S. business trip is Prime CS Musaliam Davadi, CS4 Trade Moses Kuria, Jigunda Ndugu for National Treasury, Alfred Mutua for Foreign Affairs, Aden Duale for Defense, and Attorney General Justin Muturi, among others. Give us in minor. K24, Nairobi.